click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends and today we are going to study a new problem that is problem number 1 which is based on a sampling theorem but before moving to this problem you should know the statement of a sampling theorem the sampling is possible when your sampling frequency is greater than or equal to twice of fm that is a maximum or modulating frequency now we will see the question and then we'll move on to solution problem number 1 for a continuous time signal x of t here the signal is given 8 cos of 200 pi t what we are going to do first of all we have to find out a minimum sampling rate the second one is if the sampling frequency f stand for sampling frequency is equal to 400 hertz then what is the discrete time signal the same thing we are going to do but here the sampling frequency is 150 hertz and at the end we are going to solve the last question that is comment on the result obtained in part 2 and part 3 with the proper justifications now in the last question what is mentioned comment on the result obtained in second part and third part with proper justification now what do we mean by proper justification what we want is whether in part 2 or in part 3 aliasing error is present or not that we are going to see and it is total depends on our nyquist rate or nyquist frequency so first of all we will calculate the first part that is a nyquist rate or nyquist sampling rate and then we'll proceed to second and third basically our question is x of t is equals to 8 cos of 200 pi t now i'll compare this given question with the standard form of our signal that is a cos of omega t what is important that is omega now if we compare then my omega value is 200 pi but what is omega the omega formula is 2 pi f and from that f you will get the maximum frequency of this waveform or this signal now what we have 200 pi by 2 pi here pi pi gets cancel and 200 by 2 is 100 so my frequency is 100 hertz and this frequency is the maximum frequency but important one is what we are going to calculate the sampling frequency we know that according to sampling theorem the sampling frequency is always greater than or equals to 2 fm or 2w where is my w this frequency is nothing but my w this frequency is nothing but my w and we know that the sampling frequency is nothing but fs is equals to or greater than or equals to 2w so we'll write here i'll substitute my w value that is 100 so we'll get my sampling frequency is 200 hertz but now what is important what is asked in question the first part is calculate minimum sampling rate and minimum sampling rate is always a reciprocal of fs and my fs value which is already calculated and it is 200 hertz now what about 1 upon 200 what is the value of 1 upon 200 1 by 2 is a 0.5 and here we have two zeros so we can write the denominator as 1 by 2 into 10 to the power 2 now 10 to the power 2 it is in denominator so if i shift this 10 to the power 2 in numerator so what you will get 10 to the power minus 2 and one more thing 1 by 2 is always a 0.5 so my answer is but 
if i shift the decimal dot after 5 then power becomes minus 3 and we can write that power in terms of millis so my answer is 5 millisecond so this is the the minimum sampling rate of given signal now we will calculate the second part that is we are going to find out a digital signal but there one sampling frequency is mentioned so let's see the second part how to get the digital signal now second part what is asked in second part a discrete signal and in discrete signal we have to substitute my sampling frequency and it is given in question so first of all we'll see how to substitute and what is the value now how to obtain a discrete time signal if we replace t by n by fs then of course your result will be in a discrete form so first of all we will replace all the t by n by fs so this t is replaced by n by fs but here i'm going to write the n because my signal will be in discrete time format now in this part my sampling frequency is mentioned which is 400 hertz so i will substitute my sampling frequency as a 400 now we know that 200 by 400 is always half so my answer is n pi by 2 now my equation is in discrete time signal format where is my sampling frequency is 400 hertz now here we'll do the same thing but in third part my sampling frequency is 150 hertz now here also we will do the same thing we will replace all the t by n by fs and my fs value is 150 this t is replaced by n by fs but this t will not be replaced by n by fs because i want to calculate a discrete time signal that's why we'll write only x of n and i'm going to substitute here n by fs where my fs value is 150 hertz now we have divided whole equation by 50 so what i have got 4 pi by 3 into n so this is the discrete time signal of x of t where my sampling frequency is 150 hertz now the fourth part we are going to place comment on part 2 and part 3 of the question now basically in part 2 our sampling frequency is mentioned which is 400 hertz and we have calculated a discrete time signal for 400 hertz as a sampling frequency and the function is now basically what is t we have replaced t by n by fs so now we'll do the reverse process now here we will replace or here we'll substitute the value of n we have replaced all the t by n by fs so if i do the reverse process that is if i want to substitute n value then it is nothing but t into fs so i'll replace this n by t into fs here in this question my fs value is 400 hertz now 
if I perform division or if I divide this 400 by 2, then what you will get? 200. So my answer is x of t equals to 8 cos of 200 pi t. Here my frequency is this is my maximum frequency but what is minimum sampling frequency it is twice of maximum frequency now if this twice of frequency that is in this question if my frequency is, if the sampling frequency is greater than or equal to my obtained or calculated sampling frequency, then now here my sampling frequency is 200 hertz. Now if this sampling frequency is equal to or greater than my calculated sampling frequency which was calculated in first part of our numerical. Now in my first part our calculated sampling frequency is 200 hertz and here also we have got the same result which means if both the values are equal or if the current minimum sampling frequency is greater than our calculated sampling frequency then in this function for fs is equals to 400 hertz no fold over distortion or aliasing error will not be there. Now similarly we will calculate the same thing but for part 3 if the fs equals to 150 hertz. Now in part 3 my fs is 150 hertz and we have calculated the discrete time signal for this fs. Now we will do the same thing. I am going to replace this n by t into fs where my fs value is 150 hertz so that you will get the answer but in x of t that is in continuous format. So 2 into 50 is 100 so my answer is 100 pi t inside this bracket so I can write 8 cos of 100 pi t. Now we will do the same thing I will compare 8 cos of 100 pi t with my standard formula so my omega value is 100 pi here the omega value is 100 pi we can substitute my omega value that is 2 pi f. From here I can say that this pi pi gets cancelled and these two will divide the 100 and we will get answer that is 50 hertz. This is the maximum frequency but what I want I want to calculate minimum sampling rate. So what will be the minimum sampling rate of this? We are going to calculate minimum sampling rate by just multiplying 2 with this f. Here the minimum sampling rate is 100 hertz and we have calculated already in first part minimum sampling rate was 200 hertz. So if you compare both these values then I can say that this minimum sampling rate is less than our calculated sampling rate. Now we have calculated a minimum sampling rate in first part which is 200 and here what I have got my minimum sampling rate is 100 hertz when my sampling frequency is 150 hertz. So if I compare the sampling rate with our sampling frequency. I can say that this sampling frequency is less. So when my fs is 150 hertz I can say that in this signal my aliasing error is present. So this is how we are going to calculate all the answers. 
we'll solve a different type of numerical but in next video so thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekeda and subscribe to ekeda for further more videos thank you so much